Okay, today uh, I'm going to change the headlight, the low beam lamp of the uh, right headlight of an Isuzu Ascender 2004 model. So anyway, to replace the headlight, you just have to uh, lift the hood. Um, the part I'm going to replace it with is a Sylvania. Um, it's 9006 and that's for the low beam now also you'll just need a little piece of paper towel and a socket wrench I'm using a 10 millimeter so um, first all we have to do is remove if you notice the headlight assembly is held mostly in place um, by this piece right here let me try to get a better view of that Okay, and that's the screw that we're going to need to remove. Um, now, something you'll notice here uh, is that there are these little things uh, that you lift. Like that. There's one, and the other one is over here. Okay, so I've got both tabs lifted, but I still need to undo that bolt there. So, let me do that. Okay, I've got the bolt removed. It's here. See, and that's where it was. So now, um, what I need to do is pull this whole assembly, headlight assembly. I'm going to try to pull it forward, and um, then we'll be able to get to the wires. Okay, I've removed the wiring harness. See, it was, it was um, right here. That's where it was. And here it is right here so I can pull this out a little bit now what you see are these two rubber looks like a gasket but what it is is just a little rubber thing to keep water and things like that from getting in here with the light bulbs the lamps now the top one is your low beam the bottom one is the high beam uh, so what since it's the low beam that I'm trying to replace I'm just gonna remove that one okay so I've got the light. Um, now there's two screws right there that if it's on really tight and you can't turn this light you might have to loosen it a little bit. Um, I did and then now what you do is you turn this piece with the bulb about 45 degrees like that and then you pull it straight back like that and there's your light. Now you disconnect this right here, the wires, and then you're ready to replace it. Now if you remember I mentioned I'm using a paper towel on this so you don't want to touch that glass and get um, oil or anything off your fingers onto it um, because it could break um, you know when you're using the lights and it gets as hot as it does. So just use a paper towel or something to hold it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug, um, we're going to plug that power source back into it, and then we're going to put it back in the hole, and we're going to rotate it about 45 degrees um, clockwise. Okay, so I had to press forward on it a little bit um, up here. I had to give it some pressure up here to get it to clip into that uh, metal ring. Okay, but it did, and then I just gave it a little bit of a rotation and it's locked in place so last thing to do is put the little rubber seal back on okay now that I've got the rubber seal in place now I want to make my assemble the uh, uh, headlight assembly connection get clipped right in Lift these up a little bit. So they can go back. That one's in place. That one's in place. Now I need to put the boat back. 